already we know that the theoretical aspects of the transformer that what is a transformer and what is the working principle of the transformer but now we have to implement that theoretical concepts on this trainer while 195 electric motor control trainer so that uh, how what we have to measure we have to measure the voltage current from the source side and even the load side first of all i introduce myself i am a, a senior lecturer working as a senior lecturer in the Department of Electrical Engineering in Islamic University of Rabat. My name is Shogun Bandayam. And now, before conducting the experiment, we have to know the theoretical concept of the transformer. What is the transformer? The transformer is an electrical piece of the equipment which is used to raise or lower the amount of the voltage at the constant power and the constant frequency. And then, according to the construction point of view, the transformer has the two windings, the primary winding and the secondary winding. As you can see from this trailer, this is the transformer and there are the two windings are present. The 127 volt is that the primary winding, high voltage winding and 50 volt is the secondary winding or the low voltage winding. Now, there are the two types of the transformer, the step up transformer and the step down transformer. The step up transformer is that when the number of the primary trunks are lesser, then the number of the trunks of the secondary side that is called as a step up transformer. And when the number of the primary trunks are greater, with respect to that number of the secondary windings of the coil, so that will be called as a step down transformer. So now we are going to perform the experiment so that according to the construction and connection diagram we have to implement di this diagram on this trainer to measure the parameter from the primary side and even the secondary side. See this diagram that uh, now this diagram we have to implement on this trainer. So as you can see in this diagram the, there are the two windings the primary winding and the secondary winding. The primary winding of the transformer is connected to the source side and the secondary winding of the transformer is connected to the load, load side. Now these are the two emitters. This emitter belongs to the primary side emitter that will give us the reading of the primary current or the source side current and this emitter will give us the reading of the load side currents and this is the voltmeter which will give us the uh, voltage reading of the load side. And this voltmeter will give us the reading of the uh, primary side voltage. Now, this is the main power supply module and this is the adjustable single phase power supply module. Now, this is the transformer. As you can see, the 127 volt and the 50 volt. This will be the high voltage winding and this is the low voltage winding. Okay. Now, according to this circuit diagram, we have to give the supply to this winding primary winding which is called as the high voltage winding okay now so before this if i am directly connecting this winding to this so it's okay the supply will give uh, will will be going to continue to the transformer primary winding but the main thing is that we have to measure the current from the primary side so we have to connect the emitter in series with the primary winding to measure the source side current okay so now so this if this emitter is the primary side emitter if i am going to connect in series with this supply already you know that what is the series connection okay so this is the very basic concept and this emitter is connected to this main winding now the second point of the neutral supply and of the transformer will be connected as you can see 
the emitter according to this diagram the emitter is connected with the primary winding now second thing is that we have to connect the voltmeter on the primary side so that to measure the amount of the primary side voltage okay so voltmeter is always connected in parallel across the supply so simply transformer primary winding on the primary winding we have to connect this the voltmeter in parallel across so this is according to this diagram we have connected the emitter and the voltmeter on the primary side now coming towards this diagram secondary winding we have to connect the, the secondary winding with the load side and emitter is connected in series with that load to give us the reading of the load side current okay so now again emitter is going to be connected in series with this so now in this variable resistor we have a fixed load and the variable load so it depends upon you whether you are selecting the variable load or the fixed load so for simplification for simple understanding we are going to take the static load or simply uh, fixed load which is connected with the secondary winding of the transformer okay so now the second point of the load side should be connected with the emitter so that it will give us the reading of the load side current so now this emitter is connected the load side and this emitter is connected with the source side I mean this portion is the source side portion and this portion is the load side portion. now one thing now we have to connect the voltmeter across the secondary winding to measure the secondary voltage of the transformer so at the last now we have to connect the so this is the main experiment that we have to uh, this diagram we have implemented on this vial 195 trainer now we are going to give the voltage now 127 volt is the maximum voltage at which this transformer is going to be operated but now according to the uh, manual which is to be provided by the company so we have just uh, 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 work uh, give the amount of the voltage to this transformer up to that 100 volt so see what will be the results that we are taken from the our meters so from this voltage rise we are going to rise the amount of the voltage now this is 34 35 40 we are going to move up up to that 100 volt now 100 volt we are given to this okay and obviously this is a step down transformer so secondary voltage is 30 voltage now you can see the load side current is 0.29 ampere and the source side current is the 0 .0, 0 0.15 ampere so this is the portion of the secondary side and this is the portion of the primary side this is the primary side uh, current okay 0.15 ampere 74 voltage we are taking already you know that uh, the rms value 100 volt rms value will be that 0 0.707 and it will be the 74 or the 70 or 71 so this will be our uh, going to obtain 74 or 75 and then the, this is a step down transformer obviously the secondary voltage is the lower one so 100 we are given and 30 voltage we are receiving on the secondary side of the transformer and this is the secondary side means uh, this will be the to uh, experiment of the that was the experiment of the transformer that we have done on this Y195 uh, motor con uh, control trainer so again I am going to repeat that this is the primary side voltage and this is the secondary side so the, this was the experiment which, uh, which we have done on this Y195 trainer and uh, 
for more videos please subscribe my channel youtube channel uh, on electrical engineering lectures and uh, press the hit or hit the bell icon button for interesting more videos related to the electrical engineering core subjects in the electrical machine series thank you very much